Hey everyone, Mandy here bringing you the inside scoop on what it's really like vacationing in Clearwater Beach at different times of the year. Your experience can be vastly different depending on when you visit. From wild spring breakers in the spring to not so wild snowbirds in the winter to the very best weeks to visit in between, we're sharing it all now. The best time to vacation in Clearwater Beach is a personal choice based on what type of vacation you're looking for. We've lived on Clearwater Beach for seven years now and we're still surprised at how drastically different the vibe changes depending on the time of year. In this video, we're covering all 12 months from weather, events, crowd size, to even the types of tourists that visit and when. But before we get started, we'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching and subscribing. We're brand new here on YouTube and it means the world to us to know that you're enjoying this content. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now. It's free for you to do and helps our channel grow. Thank you so much if you do. Now let's jump right into this 12 month guide of what you can expect on your Clearwater Beach vacation. January. As the hustle and bustle of the holidays wind down, visiting in January offers one of the most low key experiences you'll have here. With the holiday crowds gone, the only ones left are locals and snowbirds, and if cooler weather, more relaxed beach days, and minimal crowds is what you're after, this is the time you want to visit. With temperatures ranging from the high 60s to the low 70s, the weather is perfect for exploring the beach and enjoying some downtime. Although the water might be too chilly for most to go for a swim, you'll still see some brave souls taking a plunge in the Gulf. February. The first three weeks of February welcome a sweet spot for a visit to Clearwater Beach where the crowds are still thin and the weather is still cool. This month's cozy conditions offer a chance to spend quiet moments basking in the sun before the March madness hits. If you're hoping to dodge boisterous spring breakers, this is your last opportunity until after April. The end of February kicks off spring training season for the New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies, attracting baseball enthusiasts to the area. So don't be surprised if you spot fans flaunting their team colors as they hang out around the beach. Whether you're a diehard fan or just want to experience the energy of a live game, consider adding a spring training baseball game to your list of things to do while you're in town. March. March is the time of year when Clearwater Beach is buzzing with excitement as spring break festivities kick into full gear. If you're not a fan of traffic and crowds and aren't limited by school schedules, we recommend staying far, far away during this time. While all of March and most of April are pretty insane around here, the last two weeks of March are the busiest of the entire year. That's because students from local Florida schools converge on the beach to enjoy their spring break, adding to the already overwhelming surge of out-of-state visitors. Crowds nearly double in size during these two weeks, and while it's a fun and exciting environment for many, it can get pretty stressful for those looking for a more relaxed getaway. A disclaimer here, if you have young children and can only visit during spring break, don't let this dissuade you entirely. Just be prepared for heavy traffic and a few questionable behaviors from some of the rowdier vacationers. April. Spring break craziness is still in full force for the first two weeks in April, and adding to the excitement is the annual Pier 60 Sugar Sand Festival. The festival draws in crowds of over 200,000 people over the course of 17 days. We mentioned earlier that the second and third weeks of March are the busiest, but these first two weeks in April come in at a close second. People travel from all corners of the world to witness the awe-inspiring sand sculptures and experience the celebration. As the Sugar Sand Festival draws to close mid-month, it marks the unofficial end of spring break. Once the tents are packed away and the sculptures come down, the crowds disperse and the beach returns to a serene state. This is one of the most quiet times here as spring breakers and snowbirds have all gone home and the only ones here on the island are full-time locals. After moving here, we were surprised to learn just how few of us there really are. May. May is an ideal month to visit Clearwater Beach and it remains relatively low-key until Memorial Day weekend. 
although the holiday brings an uptick in activity, it's not overwhelmingly busy, making it a great time to enjoy the vibrant atmosphere. With schools wrapping up for the summer towards the end of the month, the last weekend might see a slightly busier beach, but nothing that will compromise the beauty and fun of your visit. Now, May marks the beginning of stingray season here, where stingrays come into shallow gulf waters for their mating season. There's a good chance you'll spot them if you visit during this time, and beachgoers are advised to do the stingray shuffle before entering the water. Not to worry, stingrays are not naturally aggressive and will get out of your way when they feel your presence. June. School is out and summer has officially begun, so naturally the beach activity picks up. And while the crowds aren't as wild as they are during spring break, you can expect a lively atmosphere here. While temperatures are soaring and humidity is rising, the gulf water temperature is perfect right now, making it ideal for swimming. But with the arrival of June, it's important to note that this marks the beginning of our three month long rainy season. You can expect a daily downpour that usually lasts around 20 minutes to an hour every afternoon. June also marks the beginning of hurricane season, which has its pros and cons. While the increased likelihood of storms can be of concern, it also means there are some amazing deals to be found on flights, hotels, and especially cruises. With a cruise port located just 20 miles away in Tampa, it's worth considering a beach cruise combo if you're into cruising. If you're considering vacationing here during hurricane season, we recommend watching our hurricane video where we provide an honest description of what it's really like going through hurricane season here in Clearwater Beach. July. July brings similar weather and bustling summer crowds as seen in June with July 4th weekend bringing in an exciting surge of activities. During this weekend, local businesses line up fun festivities throughout the area while the city of Clearwater presents the grand finale, a glorious fireworks display set against the backdrop of the tranquil Clearwater waterways accompanied by the majestic melodies of the famous Florida Orchestra. August. There's not a lot to say about August other than it's hot and humid. Remember, the temperatures you see on the screen are average temperatures. It can get into the upper 90s with over 70% humidity during the summer, with August being the hottest month of the year. Unfortunately, taking a dip in the Gulf likely won't offer much relief, as even the water temps are absurdly high. In August of 2023, the Gulf of Mexico reached a scorching 93 degrees. Now, we're not saying you shouldn't travel here in August, but you do need to know what to expect, especially if you live in cooler climates and aren't accustomed to this type of heat. Be sure to pack lightweight and breathable clothing, plenty of sunscreen, and stay hydrated. Luckily, the hotels and restaurants keep their AC on full blast so you can always duck inside for some relief. September. September kicks off with Labor Day weekend, drawing in crowds for the unofficial end of summer celebration. It's the last hurrah for many and Clearwater Beach is the perfect spot to soak up the sun before the season ends. After Labor Day, things quiet down considerably. With no high season snowbirds, summer vacationers, or spring breakers, the beachfront transforms into a peaceful oasis, giving visitors plenty of space to stretch out and move around. Plus, since the temperatures can still be quite warm, sun worshipers can get their full dose of vitamin D and gulf waters have begun to cool down, making for some pleasant swimming temperatures. With fewer people around, parking and beach spots become easier to find and restaurants have more availability as well. It's a great time to visit. October. Ask any local what their favorite month of the year is here and they'll likely say October. As the scorching heat of summer fades away, the temperature and humidity are both comfortable, typically resting in the high 70s with the perfect amount of refreshing gulf breeze. If you could design your perfect beach day, this would likely be it. And as if it can't get any better, the kids are back in school and the snowbirds have yet to arrive, so the beach tends to be pretty empty. October is considered a shoulder season around here, which makes it a fantastic time to visit if you're on a budget. With a little bit of research, you can score some great deals on accommodations, restaurants, and activities. November. 
In the early weeks of November, Clearwater Beach remains peaceful and tranquil with the weather still basking in its perfect glory. Mid to late November is when the snowbirds start to arrive, which creates a different dynamic for the next few months. This is when we advise you to pack your patience. Snowbirds, also known as our beloved retirees who flock down from the north to escape the chilly winter months, can sometimes cause things to slow down a bit around here. While the influx of visitors can be a bit frustrating for some, particularly when it comes to navigating our roads, it's all part of the Florida living charm. As the saying goes, how do you know when it's fall in Florida? Well, our leaves don't change colors, but our license plates do. Thanksgiving week can also see an uptick in visitors as schools break for the fall holidays and families from all over come to escape the cold and soak up the sun together. December. As the holiday season approaches, December on Clearwater Beach is bustling with visitors from far and wide seeking to escape the cold and bask in the Florida sunshine. Clearwater Beach does an amazing job of keeping the holiday festivities going all month long and hosts a myriad of exciting events that you won't want to miss. You can check out some of that holiday fun in our Clearwater Christmas video. While the entire month is filled with visitors and holiday cheer, the busiest week in December is between Christmas and New Year's Day. Most of the hotels and bars on the beach host New Year's Eve parties, and on New Year's Day, the ReliaQuest Bowl takes place at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. On the days leading up to the big game, fans flock to the area, and on December 30th, Visit St. Pete Clearwater presents Clearwater Beach Day, which includes fun events like Battle of the Bands and Cheerleader Tug of War happening right on the sand by Pier 60. The football players themselves get in on the action, and even if you're not a football fan, it's really just a fun and exciting time to be on the beach. So there you have it, your ultimate guide to what you can expect when visiting Clearwater Beach month by month. From scorching hot temperatures of summer to the slightly cooler and less crowded months of fall to everything in between, there's something for everyone, anytime, at this beautiful destination. We hope this video helped make your trip planning a little bit easier. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks on how to make your Clearwater Beach vacation an unforgettable one, hit the subscribe button now and let us know in the comments what you would like to see us cover next. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.